everybody. I'm so excited to introduce you to Ignited Math. I give you a brief walkthrough of all of the things that are included. Ignited Math is a spiraled math program for teachers teaching grades three, four, five, and six and following the Ontario math curriculum. I know so many of you are ready to sign up for the wait list so that you can be the first in the door to be using this in your program. So we wanted to give you a little insight as to what you will get in every single week of Ignited Math. Ignited Math is based on a teaching schedule that includes four different components. First is about 10 minutes worth of bell work, then a 25 minute teacher directed group lesson where you're doing some modeled shared inquiry math talk type lessons for about 25 minutes with your students. Then you're giving students 20 minutes of student center independent activities while the teacher is doing some guided math. And then there's about five minutes of consolidation built right into that. Now, each and every Ignited Math week is broken into units. We have six full units within the Ignited Math program. Each Ignited Math unit has five weeks of instruction, and there will be a project that students can use to wrap up that math unit. So the first component here is your daily math warm-ups. Now these can serve either as your entry and or exit ticket. It's also an opportunity for students to practice what it is that they will be learning each week and having some application pieces. So things that were taught the day before or the week before are reviewed here inside your daily math pages. Students will do a few activities for the first 10 minutes of their math class. This is a great opportunity for teachers to circulate and just quickly check whether students are on track, they're understanding, and they can kind of highlight which students might be struggling and need additional support. So now the second part is your teacher-directed lesson plans. These are detailed lesson plans that are going to go through how you are going to instruct with your students. They will include some inquiry math prompts. They will include some modeled, some small groups, some shared learning opportunities. Each and every lesson has a detailed description of what it is the teacher will be doing as well as any of the supplementary materials, including anchor charts, activity pages, task cards, so on and so forth, are all included. Another feature we've included in the lesson plans is each lesson comes with assessment questions. These assessment questions are there and designed to help guide the teacher as to what specifically they're looking for every day. Observational, conversational, assessment opportunities are really so much easier when you are guided by what exactly am I looking for? So questions such as, do the students understand the standard algorithm for addition? Can they model how to solve addition with different groups? Are all questions you should be asking as you are sort of observing, having conversations and circulating around your room as your students are working away on their learning? We found it was really important. We know the value of anchor charts. So with every teacher directed section of Ignited Math, we've included anchor charts. Now we know that best practice is that teachers should be creating an anchor chart with their students on a chart paper, but they're gonna be creating it with students. However, we also know that sometimes we are so overwhelmed and mentally stuck that we're not exactly sure what that anchor chart's supposed to look like. So we wanted to give each and every teacher an example of what their anchor charts could look like. So by giving printed anchor charts or printable anchor charts, we can allow teachers to share these anchor charts with students. You could put them on a ring, put them in a binder so that students can reference them later. And they always have this anchor chart to reference so they know exactly what they mean and they have them there and accessible to them. We also want to make sure that we are including all of the task cards and activities that you would do so that you're not running around and prepping all of this. You simply print, cut out, and they're ready to go. We've also included all of our answer pages so that you have a quick reference to exactly what the answer is so that you can check student work quickly and easily. The next component of Ignited Math is the Ignited Math Centers. There are four centers. There is math practice, applied learning, teacher time and hands-on math. Now the teacher time is going to be your guided math program, which we will get into in just a second. But the other three components follow the guides to effective instruction as well as the achievement chart here in Ontario for how we are to be looking at breaking apart math and really assessing it. So the M is math practice. 
Sometimes students just need to practice their skills, and we want to make sure that one of our centers each and every week is math practice. So we've dialed it up a little bit and made sure that our math practice activity center is getting students to practice their basic skills, their addition, their subtraction, their multiplication, their division. It's really the knowledge and understanding component of our math centers, but we want to kind of amp it up a little bit. So for example, we use bingo cards, different games, different kind of search and find activities students can do that add a little bit of flair and spice that make it just a little bit more engaging and mix it up that is just different from using, say, a textbook work page or just a printed out here, solve these hundred edition questions that are on this page and do it in 10 minutes. The next center is going to be our A center. This is apply learning. Another deficit we often see with students in math is their ability to solve word problems and take the math that they've been learning, the basic math skills they would be developing in their math practice, and then applying it to solving real world, math, real world problems or multi-step problems or perhaps open-ended problems. So within the Apply Learning Center, students will have word problems that they are going to solve. And again, we've tried to mix it up so that we're not getting too repetitive and different takes on how students are going to solve problems. The third center is the hands-on center. Now we think students should be getting down and dirty with math all the time and using manipulatives whenever possible playing games, having fun with math. So the hands-on math center is again, the fun playing center. Students will play games, they will play with manipulatives, they will not think they're doing math while still doing math. And that's always our goal in these centers. Now, each and every one of these centers also comes with a detailed description for the teacher. So the teacher knows exactly what is happening inside this lesson. So we have one for students, the steps for students, and we also have a detailed lesson outline for each of those math centers for teachers. And we also have the next component is our guided math lessons. So in guided math, we have four different levels of guided math lessons that a teacher could follow. The below lesson, approaching, progressing, and extending. Now we know in your classroom, you most likely have students working at a wide variety of levels. Ignited Math is designed to work with students that are working at grade level, whether they're working at a D, B, C, or A. They may need some reteaching of the lessons, so they may be working slightly below grade level, but we're looking at students that are working, generally speaking, or have the potential to be working at grade level at the end of the learning. It's our hope that using Ignited Math would free up some of that time to allow you to support the student that's working significantly below grade level to learn their identified learning needs and specific learning needs outlined in their IEP. However, this is really designed for students that are working at that grade level. Now, that being said, we also have split grades and we have a range from grades three to grade six. Each week of Ignited Math was built together, meaning that the learning that's happening in grade three, grade four, grade five, and grade six is all consistent across the grade level. Whether a grade three was learning how to add a two digit number, and then the grade six is learning how to add decimals, they're all learning how to add, and it's just a matter of what numbers are being used, and they're all following the same learning path and trajectory all throughout the entire 30 weeks of Ignited Math. Near the end of every week for Friday, we wanted to include something that was going to push their thinking. So we have an inquiry math prompt at the end of every week, and this is a full group learning activity done within the teacher-directed lesson that will allow students to think deeply about the math that they're learning and really give them some concrete practice as to how math can be applied in everyday life. So students will work through those each and every week. At the end of every week, we have a reflective math journal. This math journal is essentially a way for students to reflect on the learning goal for the week talk about what they have learned in the week and give an example of what they have or what they're able to do. This is almost like a very small test at the end of every week that doesn't feel like a test. It's easy to differentiate because it allows each student to show what it is that they have been learning, what it is they're doing and how they can improve. It gets you to see where they are and what they're doing 
and gives you assessment each and every week is they're building essentially a portfolio of math learning and you have all of those materials every single week to be able to look at what students are able to do. The little boxes here on the math journal are also going to give an indication for students exactly where they are. So by using a stoplight system, we can allow students to say, where are you in your thinking? Are you still struggling? Do you still need help? Are you progressing well? Are you really confident with your math? It allows them to kind of self-assess based on what it is they learned that week, exactly where they are. It's our hope that this gives you your time back to allow you to spend your time instead of planning and prepping. So you're spending your time assessing students, you're spending your time getting things ready. So if you are as excited about Ignited Math as we are to make it available, then I want you to sign up for the waitlist below and you can be the first to have access to the Ignited Math program coming very soon.